have been fishing at some point in time, whether it's been to a pay lake, a pond, or a huge tournament. And if you've ever heard this sound right here, you know you've got a big one on. <laughs> my goal today is to inform members of this class my favorite three ways of fishing. To do this, I'll discuss my favorite way to jerk bait fish, my favorite ways to jig fish, and my favorite ways to finesse fish. Let's check out my first point, my favorite ways to jerk bait fish. Jerk baits are an awesome way to produce a lot of fish in the spring. In the spring, these bass are looking to feed up and move to the shallows where they've been in the winter. They're deeper and it's warmer in the deeper water and they move up into the shallow water in the spring when the water temperature starts to warm up because that's where they'll spawn. And with a jerk bait, you can kind of experiment with your cadence and when the bass are more lethargic, you can kind of pause and that jerk bait will just suspend right there. And if you know you happen to come along, one will just suck it up. According to an article by Wired to Fish, Bass Opens Pro and Alabama guide Jimmy Mason is widely renowned for cold water jerk bait fishing. When the winter is at its worst, you'll see him catching some of the biggest bass of the year. Fishing a jerk baits, probably my all time favorite way to catch fish. I have a lot of success at the lake back home, it's called Laurel Lake, uh, with smallmouth, love it. And that's why it's my favorite to catch monsters on it. Uh, so to my second point, my favorite way is to jig fish. Jigs come in all kinds of different varieties of sizes and colors. My favorite's probably a three quarter ounce football head. I use a bunch of different colors, but with a heavy jig, like a three quarter ounce football head, it's easy to feel the bottom. So when you sweep your rod, you can feel, almost count every single rock that that jig will come across. Or you feel a brush pile or a log or something. And it's good because a lot of times those bass will stay close to cover, especially when the sun's up, it creates shade for them. Uh, casting jigs are a lot smaller and don't weigh as much most of the time. So with a football head, you can get deeper and fish a lot of deep points and the ledges even if your lake has ledges. Uh, but there's another article by Wired to Fish that states if you're faced with frigid temperatures and tough bass fishing in the wintertime, sometimes flipping a dock can be effective because it looks like a chad falling and dying off of a dock. Um, me personally, I like to throw a jig primarily around the rock bottom where a lot of crawfish would stay because that's what I primarily like to mimic with the jig. And to my final point, my favorite way to finesse fish, using a shaky head is where I've made most of my money. Uh, my three best finishes in the BFLs have all been on my little finesse rig. Um, when you hear people talking about how the bass aren't biting good, they're kind of lethargic, nobody's getting a whole lot of bots, you can pull out a finesse rig, the light line, the small weight and compactness, and a lot of times you can catch those lethargic bass. Uh, over the years fishing clear deep lakes, especially with smallmouth, I've learned that smallmouth block small baits. So when you bring out the finesse rig, everything's smaller and I have a lot of success doing that. Um, and according to scout.com, anglers like Brent Hyde, Brent Ehler, Justin Lucas, David Dudley have used finesse tactics to put not just more bass, but bigger bass into the boat and win major competitions and bass tournaments. So to wrap things up, I've informed you of three ways, my three favorite ways to bass fish. I've discussed my favorite ways to jerk bait fish, my favorite ways to jig fish, and my favorite ways to finesse fish. So now that you know my favorite ways to fish, don't let me catch you in my fishing holes. God bless good fishing.